Hello beautiful people, welcome back to Kate Space, welcome to my channel. Uh, if you've been following along with the tag book sort of uh, progress uh, on Instagram and here, you'll know that I showed my shameful carnage of a desk and I have tidied it up. At the end of this video you will see <laughs> the tidied up version. So I'm sitting here with a pretty orderly kind of scenario going on for creating in i played around with my tags and i forced myself to stop keeping on making tags and just kind of commit to what i've got i did just make this little one for the front for the front and yep yeah, i'm happy with that i think and then i think i'll pop this one it's got a bit of pink on it but there's some pink in this image here so I think I'm going to put that there. It's interesting, but the paper clips don't seem to like going around that many thicknesses. And actually, my thicknesses aren't that much. But then when they bend up, they're going to poke into your thing. So I might have to rethink that. And then this one is going here. And I've clipped that at the top. And then when you open it up, you've got this one. But again, yeah, I've got this problem with the paper clips. I'm wondering if I need bigger, use bigger ones, maybe. Um, I'm going to put this one in the center here. And then I've got this one here for the back. That's really big, but that's okay. And then I haven't put anything on the back. And actually, I thought I might use something I've been holding on to for a while. Does anyone else kind of hoard the inscriptions on the front of books <laughs> I do and I mean this one's so fragile but I thought maybe I could use one of these I thought they're quite cool and it would be quite neat to use it on the back I quite like this one and then yeah the tag the tag covers it but that's okay because when you take the tag off you see that I've got a few here. That's two Colin. I don't think I want that one. This one's really old. I've been I bought this and then I haven't used it. <laughs> um, right, I don't want to waste everybody's time by looking through all of these, but I did think one of these would be cool on the back, so I just need to make a decision. These two. I think I'm just going to go with this one. It's really old. It's falling to pieces, so let's glue it down. And I might. How is everybody? I hope you're all well. Uh, I hope the video, if you've seen it, of me showing my disgraceful mess that was my craft room. I hope that um, that gave you a bit of a laugh. Some people might be able to relate and some people might go, oh, when you were talking mess, we didn't realise it was that bad. <laughs> yep, it was bad. Yep, it was pretty bad. But it's good now. It's nice and tidy. Took me most of the morning. So we want the whole of that on there. Oh my gosh, it's so fragile. Fragile, but it's not going to tear for me. All right, here we go. I love that edge, but I don't. Don't think that's going to work wrapped around, so I'm going to tear that off as well. much as we want to keep all these things okay so that's the back of that done okay so 
So we need to put it all together. I'm going to take these. I need to think about what I'm going to do about the paper clips because I'm not overly happy with those. I know Heather used cabinet cards, so hers would have been much thicker than mine. Right, I'm going to use string. Here's my front. I was just trying to remember. I think I'm going to have one of them a bit higher. I think this one's going up a bit higher. That's where I think I want it. bit nervous now so if I go like that there's going to be a hole I think I'll use my pencil <laughs> or should I go through the whole layer of it okay let's just commit like that and oh. there which is about an inch from the top and There. And here's my string. So I'll just tie this in a little knot and then trim it. I don't know how much wiggle room it needs. Might need to do the strings again. Um, scissors. Here we go. Have you made a tag book? Jumping on the tag book train. <laughs> They're very cute and fun to make. I have used quite a few scraps, not that you'd know from my scrap piles, bins, whatever you call them, but. Okay, so this one's going here. Oh, I only just got that. I didn't think about that, did I, about that hitting the string, but luckily it's all good. It probably wouldn't matter, actually, but that's okay. Um, and my strings are, I'm not going to try and even get them like in the same place or anything. Just poke that stuff out of that hole there. And I'm going to just do the same sort of eyeballing, about an inch. Yeah. And the same there. Wow, well, that's amazing that I haven't even measured that. That I've, Well, I kind of did measure it, didn't I, with the, on the mat, so... You start thinking about packing for my trip away and David's brought me up a suitcase which is not that big and I'm just wondering if it's going to be big enough or whether I just need to just be really realistic about how much crafting I'm going to get done while I'm away. 
Okay, so I will probably trim these strings up. I'm just going to have put the tags in. See, oh, I'm just not sure about these paper clips. These are sort of vintage paper clips. And they're quite, they're very strong, quite a strong sort of steel. All right, so this one we know is going on the back. needs to be sort of attached there. We could go with rusty ones. I'm really disappointed with that screen mirroring app. It's gone rogue on me again. The only thing with the rusty ones is they will mark. But that's like, I, I don't know if I really mind about that. So let's just pin that one there. And what was the other one? Oh, this lady was going in here. Let's see how that copes with two things in there. Oh, yeah. That's okay. On the back here. Is it this one? Because I wanted that lace kind of hanging out. So that... Was that pinned up there? remember now that's where it's going now I think we have this one here and this one on the front so I have got some other hang on a minute I have got some other ones that sort of I don't know if I really if I really like that. What else have I got? I've got one that says love. Man, I've had these for a hundred years. I've got a rose. Mm. Goals. <laughs> nope. This is me. Oh, there's a wee bird. That might work, actually. What about a bird? Let's put the wee bird there, because we've got a few birds. Okay, it doesn't want to go. Okay, little bird, and then where did this one go? Here. Is this getting rusty, or can this cope with one of these? Here we go. Quite cute. Maybe we will tie some pretty, some chill or something on to our, these ones aren't the best are they? That's better, maybe. I just don't want my, it'd be such a shame for the paper clips to tear the Papers, see how they're dig lifting and digging in there. Yeah, and so then they rub tearing the this one's super rusty. Oh, those of you who were watching about the rusting and my disaster with the getting the hairdressing stuff. Um yeah, no, it didn't really work. I did some bulldog clips and the little a little bit of metal that goes through the spring that opens the bulldog clips that rusted this little bit here that all broke they broke so that was really disappointing i didn't do all of them i only did three two one of them's okay and the rust that it did create just kind of rubbed off so yeah i'm just going to wait for my proper hydrogen peroxide and have another go 
but I don't know if it's just because the bulldog clips I bought they're just from a stationery store but it's just a matter of getting this rusted enough before this little rod that goes through there completely rusts away mm. anyway any tips would be greatly received gratefully received okay I think I will just tie some tulle or something on there um on here on my paper clips or I could just use some little scraps of sari silk that I've got sitting there that will be a good thing to do so here's that one might just cut cut it a bit shorter and this one up here got something on there what have we got I've got something blue don't think I want to add blue here's our little bowl of scrappy pieces of fabric here we go I think I'll use this I just don't know if it will tear because it's... I'll just use it as it is there we go And then we need to decide what we're going to tie it up with. Is that all of them done? Yep, that one's that's holding that. Oh, that's so that one's holding two. Yep, that's good. Okay, cool. And then I was going to tie it up with um, some of this fabric here, but I found this lovely velvet ribbon, and I'm wondering if I might use that. I love velvet ribbon. And I should tie a key on there because of our newly discovered keys. So this is a pile of old keys I've been hanging on to. <laughs> They're hanging on my pin board on the back of my door. I think I want something really little. It's not rusty, but it's old. I still haven't worked out how to tie these on. Took the hang down. Anyway, tie a bow, see what happens. Yeah, that doesn't really work. So I need to sort that out. Right, I'm not sure about the velvet ribbon, but I'm going to leave it for now. I have to get my bow sorted because my bow is not very good. So there we go. There's our little tag book. Open it up. I need to just get these strings tied and then I'll cut them a little bit shorter and fray them. So we've got, got this little tag. We've got this little tag. And that's the inside front cover. We've got this wee tag pinned to the top. And that's that bit. Then we've got this wee tag that we did in the last video. And along with this one that we did in the last video. And that's what it looks like spread out. And then on the back we've got this tag, which is quite a big one, and that's the back. So that's the tag book. Took me a while. I'm hoping that I'll be able to make another one and I'll be much quicker. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today and for crafting with me or just um, watching. 
and supporting my channel i'm just going to cut now to the video of my very tidy room uh, my room's not super amazing aesthetically uh, because it's not going to be my permanent space and i will be moving down into my studio and yes that is still on the go that is going to be much later this year uh, due to just time frames and getting materials but yeah it, it will be great to move down to there and i'll continue to share that as as it progresses and again thanks so much and i'll see you again next time bye